Is that a stain? Uh, I gotta get my backup shirt. Do you think that they'll notice the color difference? I think they'll notice. Let's talk about your YouTube uniform. I know, it's a weird topic, but I wanted to talk about it because I have a YouTube uniform, specifically on this channel. Now, there have been a few select incidents where I have recorded outside of my trademark red shirt. However, for the most part, this is my YouTube uniform. Um, and I wear this specifically because it contrasts with the green background and it makes keying things out very easily, even though it's not keyed out at the moment. Uh, normally it is, and even right now where there is no chroma keying, I figure it's kind of important to keep that level of consistency. Consistency is key. Um, I wanted to find out from you, just kind of as a discussion, what you wear in your videos. Now, if you're not the type to uh, to show yourself on camera in this way, let me know um, what you would do if you did. Um, I have gone through many phases on uh, the Freedom Channel and other channels past about how I present myself. Um, I used to have this uh, sort of gray shirt with a lighter gray. Um, it looked like a layered shirt, like a, like a light gray shirt underneath, and then a darker gray shirt on the outside. I stopped wearing that on YouTube, mainly because it made my man boobs look big. In the vein of complete honesty, that's why I stopped wearing it. It just made my man boobs look way too big. So I went for the red shirt. It drapes things nicely, and I don't have to worry about people looking at my man boobs. Now that I've drawn so much attention to it, people are going to start talking about my man boobs. Oh no, what have I started? But back on topic. Um, now, of course, I've, I've shared the functional reason that I wear a red shirt. However, as far as everything else, as far as a branding reason, uh, there's another reason I wear a red shirt. Red is very similar to the uh, YouTube logo, red logo. It pops off of most other colors because it is so very far from everything else. Anytime you wear green or blue, sometimes it can get a little bit muddy, especially if you're putting things behind you. Um, uh, and it can make keying sort of hard for any shades of green or blue or even black, really. Some shadows come off as blue or green or uh, things like that. Red, no matter what I do, even if I reflect green onto it, it's not going to be very green. So, um, again, that's functional. But um, as far as just psychologically, I'm hoping that people look at the red polo and they see it as something a little bit a um, little bit upscale not not so upscale that I am somehow above them but upscale to a certain point where they know that I respect myself and hopefully other people respect me for that or the information that I provide who knew that a red polo was so oh what's the word I'm looking for deep and meaningful uh, but, uh, you know, there was a lot of thought put into this shirt, and, uh, today when I realized I had a stain on it, I, I genuinely did look to see if I could wear my backup shirt, but that, that is, that is, it looks orange on camera, but I promise you it's not, it's like a salmon, it's like a pinkish salmon color, anyways, um, let me know what you wear on camera, why you wear what you wear. Do you ever put thought into it? Do you have a certain style of clothing? Is it part of a character you play or an image you want to, uh, to put out there? Or is it just sort of what is functionally best to record in? Or maybe you always record outside and you live in a really cold place, so you kind of look like an Eskimo. Or then think the proper term is Inuit. I don't know. I probably just offended like five people. I should shut up now. Anyways, 
I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that we get to have a great discussion about this in the comment section down below. Uh, because in my experience, uh, the way that you dress is important. Uh, not only in video, but everywhere else too. Um, the way that you dress, the, the way you present yourself, it means a lot, not just to yourself, but to your viewers. Um, and I'm hoping that if nothing else, people take a little bit more thought into what they're doing in their uh, their everyday recording stuffs. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. But before we cut off, I need to say sorry about the low production quality and the whole not green screening green thing here. Um, hopefully it's temporary. Yeah. On the plus side, I can show you these really cool lights. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, these are uh, actually very cool lights. They're uh, LED lights. Um, we've got one of the old school box lights over there, and then these are LED. So I can sit here and record like three videos in a row without like sweating my everything off. Actually, now that I think about it, I should sweat my everything off. Maybe then I won't have a problem with man boobs. Wait, Julius, you cut that off, right?